Now, the month of April marks two years of Easter bombings that rocked Sri Lanka in 2019. Suicide bombers killed more than 250 people and injured more than 500. The terror attack was carried out while people offered prayers during Easter Mass. As the nation braces to commemorate the deadly attack, security has been beefed up at churches across Sri Lanka. Here's a report. 21st April 2019. Six near simultaneous explosions rocked hotels and churches during Easter Mass. Negombo, Batikolao, and Kochikade were in the middle of one of the worst terror attacks that Sri Lanka had witnessed. The Shangri-La, Kingsbury and Cinnamon Grand Hotels in Colombo were also targeted. More than 260 people killed. 42 foreign tourists from 14 countries including India, UK, Denmark, Portugal, Japan, Spain and the US were among the victims. Hundreds of families went into mourning. As the tragedy unfolded, Vion was reporting from ground zero. A blast has happened! 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 Investigators concluded that two Muslim groups that were inspired by the Islamic State were responsible for the attack. No one has been prosecuted yet. Former Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena's government was blamed for ignoring near specific intelligence received before the attack. Sri Lanka marks two years of Easter bombings this month. The bombings traumatized the country and shook its sense of national security. In the aftermath of the attack, the Sri Lankan government had temporarily banned burqa, citing national security concerns and Islamist extremism. Even though the ban was lifted, Sri Lanka continues to mull over banning the burqa and shutting more than a thousand Islamic schools. Christians make up only 7% of Sri Lanka's population. Catholics recently held demonstration urging the government to prosecute the perpetrators. Buddhist monks gathered outside St. Anthony's Church, one of the attack sites. They are unsatisfied by what they call a lack of progress in the inquiry. With Siddhant Sibyl, Bureau Report, Beyond, World is One. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.